So before we move on and we talk about counter-regulatory hormones or hormones that are working against insulin in the body, let's talk about incretin hormones. When you see this word incretin, um, I just want you to immediately think of something that increases or um, supports insulin release in the body. So there are two kind of major incretin hormones. And the reason these are important is because they actually come into play when we start talking about oral hypoglycemic agents a little bit later on. So these two incretin hormones are both released in the small intestine. You know, one of them in the L cells, one of them in the K cells. I really, really wouldn't worry about memorizing that. It's not a big deal. Um, but the idea that they're released in the GI system and they're triggered, they're released after eating. They're triggered by kind of satiety. The two incretin hormones are called glucagon-like peptide or GLP-1 or glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide or GIP, which you can totally say instead of all of that mouthful. Um, mostly on a test, you're going to see this or this. So don't worry about kind of memorizing those long, those long words. What's important to know is that they stimulate the release of insulin and they decrease the release of glucagon. And that's because we've eaten, we have an increase of glucose in our blood. We do not need any more glucagon. We need more insulin. So how do these work? Once we eat, uh, we're in a fed state, nice and full. Um, the intestine is going to release GIP and GI GLP-1. And those two incretin hormones are going to do two things when they reach the pancreas. The first is they're going to trigger the beta cells to increase insulin production. Makes sense, we just ate, we need more insulin. We've got a lot of glucose in our blood. The second thing they're going to do is they're going to trigger the alpha cells to decrease their release of glucagon. Remember that's where the glucagon is, is formed and released. We talked about how insulin will take the glucose that is in the blood and string it together into these glycogen chains and then store it in the liver. And so that's when we increase the release of insulin, that's what we are doing. And then glucagon has the opposite goal. So what it normally does is it works opposite to this. It takes these, it breaks them apart and sets that glucose back out into the blood. So by stopping that from happening, we're actually decreasing the amount of glucose in the bloodstream. The only thing that you need to remember about these incretin hormones is that they have a synergistic effect with insulin. They do trigger insulin release. They trigger a decrease in glucagon release. Um, so if you see them come up on a test, super, super easy, they are on the side of insulin, not on the side of the counter-regulatory hormones.